Good morning, everyone. Let's get right into the Word of God. So today we're going to be reading Deuteronomy chapter 6. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that ye may do them in the land, whither ye go to possess it, that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God, to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son, and thy son's son, all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. Hear, therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God of thy fathers hath promised thee, in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words, which I command thee this day, shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk to, or of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and upon thy frontlets between thy eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house, and on thy gates. And it shall be, when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities, which thou buildest not, and houses full of all good things, which thou fillest not, and wells digged, which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees, which thou plantest not, when thou shalt have eaten and be full. Then beware, lest, ye, or lest thou forget the Lord, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, and serve him, and shalt swear by his name. Ye shall not go after other gods, of the gods of the people which are round about you, for the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee, and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. You shall not tempt the Lord your God, as ye tempted him in Massa. Ye shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God, and his testimonies, and his statutes, which he hath commanded thee, and thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with thee, and that they may, or thou mayest go in to possess the good land which the Lord sware unto thy fathers, to cast out thine enemies them, or from before thee, as the Lord has spoken. And when thy son asketh thee in time to come, saying, What mean the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord our God hath commanded you? Then thou shalt say unto the thy son. We were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. And the Lord shewed signs and wonders great and sore upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from thence, that he may bright, or bring us in, to give us the land which he sware unto our fathers. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God, fear our good, or for our good always, that He might preserve us alive, as it is at the, or at this day. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as He hath commanded us. And that is the end of Deuteronomy chapter six. As a summary of Deuteronomy chapter 6, we have obey God and prosper. And he's, you know, Moses is telling him, you know, that these are the commandments that you will keep in the land, you know, where you go to possess it. He's just capping it all off, right? And then um, he talks about how um, he was going to bring him into these houses you did not build. You know, and, you know, which is, <laughs> he used all these Nephilim tribes and stuff like that, right, to build 
the houses and stuff for Israel. I mean, it's crazy what God does, right? But anyways, and then I also want to talk about this. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be frontlets between thine eyes. Where have we heard that before, right? Something to think about. You know, with the beast on their hands and on their foreheads, right? This is the same dichotomy here, right? Shows you who your uh, guy is, right? It's basically <laughs> is what this is saying, right? The symbol of your guy that you worship, I guess, right? You know, and uh, and then he's, he says, you know, reminds them that he is the guy that brought him out of the Egypt, out of the house of bondage, right? And as we talked about yesterday, you know. They were slaves there, right? They didn't have any days off. Or they were treated like dogs, right? And all that. Well, I would say up until when that Pharaoh guy out of nowhere comes, right? Then they were treated like dogs. Before that, they were, you know, Joseph did well, <laughs> let's just say, right? But um, anyways, on to the topic at hand. You know, and he tells them not to tempt the Lord thy God, right? Like he did in Masa, or they did in Masa. And keep the commandments, right? And, right, his testimonies. Where have we heard that before, right? In Revelations, you know, for these are the patience of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Here we have it. He shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his testimonies. Right? The word was God, right? So there's another <laughs> part where Jesus is, right? And, but, um, and you know, he, he reminds them, of course, yeah, that they were Pharaoh's bondmen. And to keep these statutes and the judgments and the commandments, right? So that they could be prolonged in the land. But anyways guys. Um, that is the end of the summer. Thank you guys for watching. And you guys have a wonderful day.